Hello and welcome to the channel. I had a day off there today, um, all, all by myself, so I figured why not do a little bit of a uh, video for you guys. Um, got the Mias Ripper finally finished. Um, the batteries finally came, got all, all the connectors uh, done up on that. Uh, so I figured, well, what the heck, why not do, you know, let this thing, uh, uh, show what it's capable of. Um, I feel it's going to do very well. It's a fairly planted buggy. Uh, suspension flows quite nicely. Um, you got a beautiful um, course to go around uh, this year. Not sure if I can get the spun around. As you can see, I got this beautiful brook and trail with a rooted system to uh, crawl over and. Uh, really push this thing to its limits. With that being said, uh, let's get the camera spun around and uh, let's see what uh, the old ripper can do. Um, I'm not, I don't think I'm going to submerge it in the water. Um, not yet, anyway. Uh, it, it may traverse, you know, shallow courses of water um, to get from point A to point B, but uh, I'm going to keep it fairly dry today. Um, so if you're, you're interested in that, then, uh, is what it is. Maybe next video, maybe not. We'll see. Anyhow, let me get this camera to spin around and, uh, we're going to start some, uh, some recording and, uh, I may or may not stay in this area. I might go find another area. It depends on how well this does here. Um, these little buggies, uh, and trucks are, they're kind of a challenge to find a decent course to run on, but, uh, yeah, anyhow. Let's go. Suspension just flexing real nicely. just working itself. I must say, I don't know what all the gripe is about uh, these uh, Mias uh, black and red shocks. Um, I see so many people hating on these things, but if you set them up right, you know, they work great. Look over some really big uh, roots over here. Uh, high center of gravity should help it. Oops, should be fit on the throttle there. Yeah, there we go. Should be caught on something now. Oh yeah, no problem. Me 
Genius Ripper. Just loving it. Eating all this up. No problem. Love watching the suspension working on this. Bring it up over this tree here. You got a beautiful mossy root on the base of this tree here. Oh, coming into a little tree there. Oh, the suspension just doing its thing. Beautiful. Right. The problem with these little RCs is finding a good crawling source to get on. You know, once you find something worthy of going, it's, you, know, you can have all kinds of fun with it. Getting these rooted areas, the uh, suspension likes to work. Oh, high center of gravity not going to help there, <laughs> or high clearance anyway. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. No, I think you shut down there. <laughs> the uh, motor and ESC combo is, you know, a great pair. Seem to work very well with one another. battery pack I'm running 2s can't seem to find a 3s big enough or uh, small enough rather to fit in the back battery tray um, so I had to go with a 2s running 1100 uh, megahertz or uh, 1100 battery with a 35 cell uh, or 35c burst rating Oh yeah, very planted, as you can see, doing very well. Picking up all kinds of sticks and stuff in between the linkages, let's see if I can get rid of that. There we go. Don't need those to hang you up. Let's see here. Alright, let's get the suspension working. Oh yeah. Very nice. I'm going to be coming up over to a cliff over here. We'll see how it uh, performs over here. Sure, if I can come under this root or not. No, definitely not. All right, try to find a new course of action here. Come on down here. If you're wondering what I'm running for uh, for axle set, I'm running the uh, Mias Racing Isokinetic series axles and. Uh, uh -oh. There we go. Got through that one. I didn't think I was going to make it through that. That was kind of a mess. Got tied up in some roots and whatnot. Not sure it'll, if it'll do this or not, but it's worth a try. Oh. All right, 
Nothing like getting a little bit of mud on the tires, right guys? Let's see here. sand there looking great Let's see if I can get it to climb that what do you guys think of the uh, the looks of the buggy leave, leave a comment down below there I don't know if it'll do this guys no all right a little bit too uh, sandy for this to climb up that Nonetheless, it will still climb up the other side there. Tell it rained there recently. The uh, terrain here is getting very, very green. Bugs are starting to come out. Right on, nice save. Give it one more go. I don't know if it's going to be able to do this spot. wants to do it and then it gets over on that other side of the root there all right let's try, try the other side of the tree there This little buggy, it can move. I've only using about 25% of the throttle. But, uh, I'd never be able to chase after it and do recording. As you can see, all the little saplings are starting to come up. And a pretty heavy, heavily rooted area over here, over up. Here. Probably shouldn't be doing it, but I'm going to try the more challenging approach to this. Let's see here.
these tires they uh, are getting so sandy. Kind of making things a very big challenge for me. A new angle there. Hoping that the buggy doesn't end up in the pond there. Little brook. It is quite deep in there. Oh yeah. Right on. Still a fairly fairly big route to climb over. Yeah, they're wondering there is fish in that brook over there. See if we change the lights here. Let's get some red ones going on. Get the suspension flex now. Looking beautiful. Get some more big roots over here. They're not the high center too bad. There we go. This root here, probably gonna be a problem. So I'm just gonna kinda launch it over. Three, two, one, go! Haha! <laughs> right on. And it did it. I'm very impressed. Wow. I consider it fairly sloppy, but whatever. It did it. All right. And we're off again. Got kind of smaller roots to go over here. I think it's uh, the buggy is performing quite well. Um, you know, traversing over the roots and whatnot. Uh, I did uh, okay when it got into the mossy sections and whatnot. So I think it's time to go find some rocky uh, uh, course to go crawl over. Um, these rocks are either too small or they're way too big. So it's a, I, I did try it a little bit earlier. Um, and I wasn't very satisfied with that. Uh, I didn't think I could get a quality video. Um, but anyhow, I will go find a course. I'm going to walk to uh, something and uh, see what we can find. What do you guys think of the, uh, the backdrop there? Ain't that nice, eh? I had no idea this would be on my house for six years, believe it or not. It's ridiculous. Unless you get an RC or you have a kid and you start exploring, uh, the, you know, the, your area. You just... You know, you're used to driving from point A to point B. You just really don't know what is in your backyard or around you for that matter. Um, what a fine day. Awesome, awesome. Six years, I had no idea this existed. Crazy.